What's going on guys? Welcome to the program. Welcome to Currency World. If I asked you who the most influential person in history is, who would you pick? I'm sure many of you would answer with Jesus Christ. Today, we will be taking a look at some very rare and valuable ancient coins bearing the image of Jesus Christ. Since I am by no means an expert on ancient coins, today we will be featuring Dr. Ilya Zlobin, a rare ancient coin dealer and expert on the topic. Before we get into it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about Currency World. Without further ado, I will let Dr. Zlobin take it from here. Hello and welcome to my video on ancient Byzantine coins featuring the image of Jesus Christ. Basically the story goes like this. For a little bit over a hundred years, from 969 to 1118 AD, you had a series of Folos coins. These, this is a pretty decently nice sized uh, Byzantine coin. This is called the Folos denomination. This is the largest size bronze coin that they issued at the time. Uh, basically, this coin is a class A2 coin from circa 1025 to 1028 AD. I'm starting out with this coin because it's the most beautiful out of the bunch, the nicest strike and it has the most exquisite portrait of Jesus Christ on it. On the back you have the text Isus Christus Basilei Basilei. Uh, pretty much what this stands for is Jesus Christ the King of Kings. During this time, the Byzantine emperors uh, struck these coins to show their subservience that they were um, below, you know, Jesus Christ. And uh, very interesting Christian motif. From 969 to 1118, there's been um, about 15, 16 types struck. Uh, these types, I have most of the ones that are not super rare uh, here available. So let's go one by one. First of all, we'll start with class A1. The reason for this classification for class A1 is that this coin is the same as the first coin I showed you, but it is of a much smaller size. And see it has the same reverse, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. Very interesting type. Next, let's look at this coin again. It's um, Class A2, Folos, also with, with Jesus Christ, Christ, King of Kings. This is a nice sized coin. Very popular actually coin to collect in this series. Next, let's see this Class B coin. This Class B Folos comes from 1028 to 1034 AD, circa. And it features Jesus Christ on the front. Holding the Book of Gospels, he has a nimbe crown. He has that kind of like a halo uh, with a cross behind his head. Very popular on these types of coins. On the back, you actually have the cross standing on three steps. His, his name, uh, Isus Christus, uh, as on this coin, see, uh, it got shortened. Isus, boom. Christus got shortened to I-S. Christus got shortened to H-S. Uh, in the same text, Basil Basileus. Basically, King of Kings again. Next, let's move on to this coin. This is a Class C, 1034 to 1041 AD coin. This one is a um, half-length figure of Jesus Christ standing. Very beautiful this is a beautiful issue. And on the back, you have uh, the jeweled cross. What's interesting about this also, now it says, is who's, you have uh, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Nika, Nika pretty much conqueror. This, this message pretty much Jesus Christ the conqueror. Interesting. Next, let's move on to class D. 
Class D uh, is uh, from circa 1042 to 1055 AD. This one actually has Jesus Christ uh, seated on a throne with a back. Very beautiful depiction of him. And over here, you have the same inscription as before, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, uh, in three lines. Beautiful depiction also. Next, let's move on to Class E Folos. The Class E Folos was from circa 1059 to 1067 AD. It features his portrait, beautiful, and also Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. Next. This one is also, this one is a class F uh, anonymous folos from circa 1059 to 1067 AD. This one features actually Jesus Christ seated on a throne without a back and raising his uh, right hand in benediction. Beautiful coin. And on the back, again, you have the the reverse. Is who's Christus Basileus Basile. Uh, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. Beautiful depiction. Next. Now, let's move on to Class G Folos. This is actually a very interesting type over here. Uh, it's from circa 1068 to 1071 AD. What's interesting about this type is you have Jesus on the front and you have Virgin Mary on the reverse. Very beautiful depiction of her. This is actually a type of Virgin Mary called Virgin Orans. You see her kind of opening her hands out to you. Beautiful depiction. This is a beautiful coin to have. Now, next, let's move on to Class H. Class H Folos has Jesus Christ on the front, and it has the patriarchal cross on the reverse. Notice the patriarchal cross, it's a little bit different from a regular cross, like, um, like this one. This is a Latin cross. What's different about it is that you have an extra notch over here on this, uh, so you have the, the main one, and you have one on top of it. It has a little extra um, bar on the top. So this coin is from circa 1071. Oh, 1071 to 1078 AD. Next, let's move on to the class class I. Anonymous Falls from circa 1078 to 1081 AD. Features Jesus on the front. And on the back you have the Latin cross. What's interesting about it is that you have an X in the middle. Um, and little floral ornaments around. Beautiful type. Now next. Let's move on to this coin. What's interesting about this coin type is um, it's a class J and it's of this Emperor Alexius I Canennus. And he was emperor from 1081 to 1118. What's interesting about his this time period is actually he was the Byzantine emperor during the time of the First Crusade. So uh, that's what's interesting about this coin being from the times of the Crusades. So, it features the portrait of Jesus Christ. What's interesting about this type also is that it's been double struck. Notice there's a, a design, another design on top of Jesus, or Jesus is on top of another design. And on the back you have the cross with a pellets on each side and a little crescent underneath. Very interesting motif. And this is a, this pretty, this is a pretty rare coin. Next. This is a coin, a uh, class K Folos, from uh, circa 1081 to 1118, of the same um, emperor, Alexius I, also during the time of um, the First Crusades, uh, he was the emperor. It features 
the bust of Jesus Christ on the front. This one, this one has an extremely nice portrait on it, holding the Book of Gospels. And on the back is Virgin Orange. But notice the difference between this one and that one, the Class G, is that you have a, just a bust of her in that position. But now you have on this type, uh, you have the half-length figure of her. You know, um, it's more, more shown of her body. And uh, yeah, the Virgin Mary and Jesus Christ. Very interesting type. Now let me move on to some types that actually um, are rarely seen and are for the advanced collectors. I don't have this coin. This coin could be thousands of dollars, if not tens of thousands of dollars in good condition. Uh, what's interesting about it is that it's uh, it's the class M. And um, yeah, it features this type of a cross on the reverse, a jeweled cross on a crescent. Next, let's move on to the class L. The class L is also from the same time period and it features this type of a cross. The reason I'm showing this is that if you become a collector of these uh, Byzantine coins, uh, perhaps you may be able to come across this very inexpensively because sometimes people don't know what they're selling. So if you spot this type of cross, this type of cross, or this type of cross, this is the class N, um, you should uh, get this coin and uh, you could probably, if not keep it for your collection, sell it for a lot of money. That's very interesting. So now let's get back to the classification of these uh, A through, uh, uh, basically A through N. So, let's review. A1 is a smaller type of the type which has a four-line reverse. Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. Right? A1, A2, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J, and K. So, this uh, type of numbering has been accepted uh, by... This woman named Miss Thompson, she created this um, numbering system. So there you have it guys. What did you guys think about this excellent presentation by Dr. Zlobin? I know I sure learned a lot. Has this video inspired you to start collecting ancient coins? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help me out. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.